Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're excited to be bringing you yet another crystal haul for my crystal shop, Crystals by DG on Etsy. I got a ton of new items in and I really wanted to diversify my shop and bring in some smaller items as well, not just big pieces, but I also have some larger pieces as you can see back here. Um, so we're gonna be going through all the items that I hauled today. Definitely make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already because there will be more hauls coming. I have some packages that are a little bit delayed and I have one that has a lot more items than this and some very exciting items, some items that I've actually never had in my personal collection before, so I'm really excited to experience those crystals and get them out to you guys as well. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned. I also do makeup on this channel as well, but I'm kind of switching it up and doing a little bit of crystals and makeup, so if you wanna be down for the journey and subscribe, I would really, really appreciate it, and yeah. Before we get into the haul, I definitely wanna stop and say thank you so much to everyone who has shown love, supported, checked out my crystal shop, checked out my crystal Instagram, I will have everything linked down below, ordered from me. I am so, so beyond just stoked, heartwarmed, everything in between. It's just been a really amazing experience so far, and it's just been something very small that I'm doing, but I definitely really love the experience, and I'm excited to see where it takes us, and a great fool, and just so many different things. I can think of so many adjectives to describe the way I'm feeling, but just want to say thank you and stop and say that before we get into today's haul, and without rambling on any further, just make sure you're subscribed. Check out all the links below, and let's get into the crystal. So I thought it would only make sense to start smallest to biggest, and one of the smallest pieces I have are these tiny blue lace agate towers. So I got two different forms of blue lace agate. I got these little tiny towers, which I'm gonna have listed by the time this video goes up. These are super, super cute, and I'm gonna show you one up close, just because they all basically look the same. It's just different banding. So this is how the tower looks super up close. It is so beautiful, has the most stunning banding, and I just love the calming energy that Blue Lace Agate. And then just quickly, these are the other two. Super, super cute and chunky. I love them so much. I definitely want to carry different variations of Blue Lace Agate in my shop in the future. I also got these little puffy hearts. They're so, so cute, and they also have a flat back to them so you can really see the banding on them in the back, but I just think they're so cute and a good addition, and it's really nice to have starter crystals where you can buy into a crystal that you're very interested in in a smaller size or shape that you can carry around with you, or if you like larger crystals and you're really attached to it, I love buying it in a smaller stone, that way you can carry it with me, and these are like a perfect addition, and they're super cute. I'm gonna show you up close really quick. So here's number one. This is the second one I got, it's super, super cute, and I love how you can see the banding on the flat back. It's so cute. Then this is the third one. So ever since I actually got into crystals again, I've noticed a bunch of mushrooms everywhere and all different types of crystals, and I was never really drawn to them until now, and I think they're so cute now. But I got these for my first mushrooms ever for my shop. These are the Tiger's Eye Mushrooms. And I've never had tiger's eye before, and I think that it's actually really, really beautiful. If you like anything that has like a flash or anything very unique like that, I think you'd really, really like tiger's eye. I like Labrador. I like anything that's flashy. I really want some rainbow moonstone as well. So I really like flashy stones, and if you like flashy, I think you'll really enjoy tiger's eye. I'm going to show these up close, just because the polishing and everything is absolutely stunning. So here's the first tiger's eye mushroom. And then this is the second one. So the next one I got is a green aventurine heart. Now I've never had green aventurine in my collection personally before, so this is the first green aventurine I'm actually holding or anything or experienced. And it is absolutely beautiful, especially in direct sunlight. Now one thing that I noticed about this right away, well actually not right away when I saw it in the light, was on the side it has this like confetti sparkle to it. It's so beautiful and it'll probably pick up on camera because it's actually pretty bright the way that it shines. And I really, really love that I have this for my shop. I actually saved the second one that I got to give it as a gift for someone, but I definitely want to get some green adventure for myself. And I feel like it's a very, very unique stone in general, just in the way that it looks and the sparkles. I'm going to show you up close really quick. So this is how it looks. But then this is that side part where I'm talking about that it sparkles, and one side's a little bit brighter than the other. But it's just absolutely breathtaking how it looks. I've never had a crystal that really does it. 
So if you don't already know, I am a huge, huge Labrador fanatic. I feel like that's what really sparked my crystal obsession in general. But I am drawn to Labrador on another level. It's not even funny. I can find myself just wanting any type of Labrador and feeling like I need it right away, right now. Just no excuses. I'll find the money type of thing. So I don't know what exactly that is or what that's about. I am a Taurus and that Tauruses don't align with Labrador and I'm not super, super immersed in all those things to really know. But I definitely feel myself drawn to Labrador and I got myself a Labrador bracelet now which I'm really, really happy about and makes me so happy. But I wanted to carry some purple Labrador and more affordable prices for you guys on my shop. So I decided to get some Labrador calves or cabochons and they're absolutely breath taking. I would really love to learn how to make wire, wire wrapped jewelry. I feel like if I put my mind to it, I could definitely learn at least how to do it pretty well. Um, so I would love to do that in the future. It's definitely on my list of things to learn how to do in my life. So I really, really love these. But in the meantime, I even have a couple of these just I keep at my desk and I carry around. You since they're really thin, you could put it in your wallet if you wanted to or anything like that, or you could make it into jewelry totally up to you, but these all have an insane, beautiful purple flash, and some of them have a dual flash where it's purple and then it's mermaid, depending on how you flash it. So I'm going to show you these up close and stop rambling. Let's go. So I'm trying to get this to show on camera. I'm looking in my monitor to see. It's kind of hard to get these ones to show on camera, but I'll insert an iPhone video if I can, because the flash is absolutely crazy. Let me try the other side. And these are so beautiful and high quality. I really, really love these. And I bought, I think, eight of them for my shop and I'm keeping three of them. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> and then I also bought this stunning heart, also with purpley flash. And all of these have flash on both sides, you guys. Okay, but this one, are you kidding me? Look at this one, you guys. So yeah, you guys, this will all be up on my shop. So like I said earlier, I got myself a Labrador bracelet. This is actually really beautiful, and each bead has flash on it. So especially in the sunlight, it's so, so pretty. I also got a rose quartz bracelet for my shop. This one is a little bit of a chunkier bead, and I would say that it's about a smallish wrist size. I have man wrists, and I'm, I'm for like reference, I'm about 6'1". I know everyone thinks on camera that I look really, really short, but I'm not a small human being by any means so I'm holding up these crystals and bracelets and everything I just don't want you guys to think that everything's like super super tiny because it's not in reference to me it would be probably bigger when I'm shopping with other places I have to think the opposite because I usually get crystals in and I think they're gonna be way bigger and they're not but most of the time it's people with smaller hands handling them so you have to think of these things um, I have very large hands for reference, so yeah, that's that. So this is a very chunky rose quartz bracelet. It still fits me, and it's not all like stretched out or anything when it fits. It's really, really beautiful, and it's more of a lilac-y rose quartz pink. So I will have this up on my shop. It's a little bit chunkier in comparison. So you can see the beads are a little bit bigger, and I'll list the measurements on my shop too, so you can see what the bead sizes are. But I really, really love this, and it's absolutely stunning. And rose quartz in general, I just love and want to shine on myself with it as well. So I have a bracelet. If you guys want to see more jewelry, please let me know. I am kind of like iffy about carrying jewelry, just the sizing and all those different things that factor into it, but definitely let me know and I'll consider it. All right, you guys, so the next item I got in, there's a lot of hearts I noticed, so I really like crystal hearts, clearly. This is a blue calcite heart, and I really, really, really love blue calcite. I would love to get a really large freeform for myself, and yeah, when I first got this, I loved the calming energy of it and it just looks like the clouds in the sky. I find myself really drawn to blue crystals and like purplish crystals kind of. So I really, really do love this. I have one for myself as well. So don't tell anyone, it's a secret. But I really, really do love this. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is what it looks like up close. I'll show you the other side. This is the side that has a little bit more of the flashiness to it so like beautiful and ice. Since we're on blue crystals, I thought we could talk about some Caribbean calcite. 
I love just the whole Caribbean calcite vibe and how it looks. I think it's so beautiful and just a stunning, calming crystal in general. And I love all the forms I'm starting to see on the market. So I definitely wanted to add a little bit more to my shop just because you guys have shown a lot of love to the Caribbean calcite towers that I had. So I decided to get these slices or slabs. And I think these are absolutely breathtaking. I made sure to get ones that have brown and blue on them, not just blue and white, as you guys requested. But these are so beautiful. I think they're great for holding rings on, any jewelry, displaying other crystals. You could put like another tower on top of this. You could really do anything, but as a decor piece, I think it's absolutely beautiful. You could put like a little candle on top of this really anything I would put my keys on top of this so I don't lose them and don't have to look for them every morning but again I really love this and I have it in two different ones so as you can see about the same size but equally as beautiful and I definitely highly recommend anything like this if you like a very calming stone and if you love a really blue sky blue type of stone these are breathtaking this is the first one up close this is the other side calcite I thought I would just keep you zoomed in and show you this beautiful palm stone I got palm stones are a great way to take some of your favorite crystals on the go with you and I have a bunch of Labradorite palm stones of course because I love taking them on the go with me when I don't have my larger ones with me so if you love stones like this this would be a great palm stone it's a little bit larger but very skinny and it has beautiful banding as well as this little druzy cave right here I definitely did not realize how many hearts I was getting, but here is a Caribbean calcite heart and it has a little druzy pocket cave in it and then that little brown band across it I think is so cute and so beautiful and again polished to perfection. And that these come straight from Pakistan, I love these. So I actually had to zoom out my camera for this one, but wow, like this Caribbean calcite tower. I don't see a ton on the market that are huge like this, so I really wanted to get one that's bigger. I got a lot of requests from people for more statement slash decor items, so I thought this would be the perfect addition. And it has a beautiful, beautiful druzy pocket right here. And I thought this would be the perfect addition because it literally looks like a work of art. It is solid. It is very, very large and in charge. And it is definitely a beautiful statement. I love this so much. And when I actually got it and saw how big it was in person and held it and everything, I really, really want to keep this. And it's on my shop now, but... I don't know, like, I might have to get another one for myself just because there's so many places in my house I could see this being, but I also feel like I would constantly move it around because I'd always want it by me just because it's so stunning. But yeah, definitely a work of art and one of the biggest items I've carried in my shop thus far. So yeah, I definitely love this. Just to let you guys know, Caribbean calcite is basically a combination mineral of aragonite as well as calcite, and it just makes this very, like, Caribbean vibe, so that's kind of like the internet term that it was coined. So it is white aragonite and calcite, I believe, and like blue, brown, and white colors all swirled together. But basically you get the energies of both in a combination. So I really, really love these. And I just think they're so beautiful in any type of a home, whether you have a very boho style, a modern style, any type of a style, witchy style, we love it. So goth style, anything, I feel like this could really complement any type of a home. So I really, really love these. So next up I got these rhodonite towers. And I think rhodonite is actually a very, very beautiful stone. And I look forward to adding more to my shop in the future, especially after seeing these in person. When I got them and saw them, I was just so impressed and stared at them for a while because it's just so beautiful. When I show you up close, you'll get it. I'll stop rambling right now. So I have four of them in my shop. This is the first one. Like, are you kidding me? And then this is the second one I have. And then this is the third one I have, and probably one of my favorites. And this is the fourth one, and the last one. All right, so we only have one more after this, but these last two are pink tourmaline towers, some little baby cuties, and I think they are 
so amazingly cute and beautiful and to me pink tourmaline especially in tower form almost looks like flowery camo I don't know I think it's just so beautiful and I love the little accents of that deep pink and I'll show you guys up close really quick so the two towers I have weigh about the same one's just taller and skinnier and this is the taller skinnier one and then here is the shorter, fatter one, and I love how chunky this one is. I think it's so cute, but I love them both. I really, really am obsessed with these, to be honest. I don't think I have any more adjectives after all these crystals that I'm describing today, but I definitely love pink tourmaline. And what was nice about this haul is it's a lot of crystals that I've never really experienced firsthand, so it's definitely brought my eyes open to a lot more things that I need for my own collection, which is good, but bad at the same time we're not trying to focus on that right now but yeah that's a whole other story and the last piece right here and this will actually come with an acrylic stand with it as well um, but this is a lipidolite sphere now I really really love lipidolite and would love to get a sphere like this for my personal collection maybe even a little bit bigger I really I'm crazy and I've been just looking at these huge pieces just for my personal collection that I want and not really think of anything else but yeah I just want like huge spheres and huge towers just all over but that's besides the point this is a huge lipidolite sphere for my shop not for myself and it's actually beautiful and it's so sparkly I'm gonna try and insert a video for my phone but I will show you it up close so this is the sphere up close and it's so sparkly and high quality. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And again, I definitely want one for myself in the future just because the energy on this is very grounding and calming and I just think it's a beautiful color. I love Lipidolite's color in general. All right, you guys, so that completes today's crystal haul. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the future ones. My next one, I might have to split up into two different videos just because I'm going to have a lot of items. But let me know if you guys want to see just really, really long videos or what you're into. Again, this is only my second crystal haul ever, so I'm definitely going to make changes and tweak it as I go. Again, the lighting today might be a little bit off, so we're working on that as well. I thought the setup would be perfect, but it wasn't as perfect as I thought. So again, making changes and getting better as we go, and I appreciate your patience in the meantime. I appreciate your watching and your time today i really really hope you guys are all doing well out there and you're having a great day i appreciate your watching and support always and until next time i will see you then